how does the Medicaid expansion bring $1.6 billion into the Wisconsin health care system? Well, that's a good question. Let me explain. So Medicaid is funded by state and federal dollars. Currently, the state pays 40% of the cost for childless adults, while the federal government covers the other 60%. If we expand Medicaid to people with incomes below $17,000 per year, the federal government will pay 90% of the cost for all childless adults, not just the newly covered ones, and the state will pay 10%. Right now, Wisconsin taxpayers pay $691 million to cover these adults. If we expand Medicaid, we would only pay $170 million. So let me do the calculation. Calculations. $691 million minus the $170 million would mean that there would be a $521 million savings. But we can't get those savings without covering an additional 82,000 people, which will cost about $197 million. So, subtracting $197 million from $521 million leaves us with $324 million in savings. Wait a minute, you mean you cover 82,000 more people and save money? Yes. Yes, we do. While saving the state $324 million with the expansion, the federal government kicks in $1 billion to cover its share. But that isn't all we did in our budget. We did a little Texas two-step. We take that savings and reinvest it in high-yield health care programs that also draw down new federal funding for programs like lead poisoning, behavioral health, and coverage for new moms. Investing in programs like these would mean we would get more federal money. That's right. By investing in these new health care programs, we draw down $573 million more in new federal money. So to summarize, by expanding Medicaid coverage, we save the state $324 million in taxpayer dollars and draw down an additional $1 billion in new federal funds. Then we reinvest the savings back into the health care system and draw down $573 million more in new federal funds. $573 million plus $1 billion totals $1.6 billion in new federal funding for all Wisconsinites. $1.6 billion. It's your money, folks.